good uh, good afternoon to to everyone. Uh, so well, it's a great pleasure to speak. It's a little bit frightening to speak after Peter, as was a little bit frightening to be the AC of JT after Peter and after all these great people before me. Uh, what I can say more than having been said already. Well, I can tell you what happened at the very beginning when I was voting in by the coordinating committee. Uh, it was October, I think, 2018, and uh, Peter wrote me, great, congratulations. It would be great if you could come to New Jersey in one week for now, I guess it was, for the coordinating committee meeting. So yeah, okay, I took a flight and went there. And then I found out why he was so, <laughs> so happy for me to be there, because basically we spent like two hours in his office at Bell Labs and he told me everything about JLT, everything, two hours. I took a lot of notes. So he explained to me everything, how everything was working, how, how everything in two hours, I remember. And I remember he was very happy. And I, I didn't understand why he was so happy to end his uh, term at, at JLT. So JLT, it was, it's great being EIC. Now, now I understand why, <laughs> because it, it's really, really a lot, a, lot of, uh, a lot of work. So I think I have some slides. Okay, great. So I just put uh, together um, a few graphs to show you what's, what has been happening along the years of JLT and what has been happening in the past four years. I've been the EIC of JLT for four years, two months, and, <laughs> and eight days right now. And uh, basically, as you can see, everything is growing, growing the number of submissions, the number of uh, published pages, the number of published papers. And, and, and if you look at the, 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 the scale, the number of submissions has been growing a lot in the, in the past few years, and, and the associate editors of GLT are aware, are aware of this. So basically, we doubled the number of submissions in the past 10 years. So when I started, I tried to do everything as, as Peter taught me. So I, I follow all his instructions how to handle papers, press screen papers, and so on and so forth. But I do not have uh, sons or daughters who play violin, so I didn't have so much time during the weekend to, to press screen papers. So I started with 30 papers per week. Then they got 35, 40, 45 papers. So it got really, really, I, I didn't have weekends anymore, basically. So what, what I did was to try and change a little bit things. So I increased the number of associate editors. You can see from that plot over there that the number of editorial board members almost doubled in the, in, in the past few years. I increased the number of deputy editors. Thanks a lot to the deputy editors that now are helping me spread screening papers. So now they are divided by five, five deputy editors, great deputy editors who knows who are experts in the field of, of the submitted papers. So that's very, very, very important. So yes, everything increased. Also the impact factor kept increasing. And I remember when uh, my first year, basically the impact factor from 2018 and 2019 went up from, I think, 3.5 to 4.1. And everyone saying, congratulations to me. <laughs> they say, okay, I did nothing. That, that's all, <laughs> all what the others did. And also the following year, congratulations, it's keeping going up. But actually, as the impact factor is calculated, it, it, it was everything that was done before. Well, I was an associate editor, so it was also my... <laughs> <laughs> it, a little bit of uh, uh, also my uh, <laughs> I contributed to it, but as an associate editor. So now I'm waiting for the next year's impact factor, hoping they will continue growing in in the future because now it's starting to uh, well count what we have done in the past for uh, four years. So uh, what else? Well, what happened in the past four years that didn't happen before? Well, a worldwide pandemic <laughs> that impacted all our lives a lot. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> but, uh, but actually, if you look at, at the number of, uh, of submissions, there was no impact uh, in the number of submissions. So our lives were all impacted very much, but not, not JLT people continue publishing, submitting papers, because I guess we had more time to write papers 
not to go in the lab, but so everything went quite uh, quite smoothly in in that sense in, in that sense of journal. Of course, uh, we uh, well we experienced some drop in the number of submissions to the ECOC and OFC special issues, but it was because the conferences were impacted, N not really because. Uh, uh, the journals, the, the number of submissions went went down. So I, I need to thank everyone, all the associate editor and deputy editors and authors also who continue to uh, trust JLT because I heard that other journals had a drop in number of submissions during the years of of the pandemic. So that's uh, that's really really great. One thing I have to mention that I have asked the help of the deputy editors to prescreen papers and they're being great, but Doug and Sonal, they're still two two of them. So they actually are, have been helping a lot in handling so many submissions and they still are. So they did, couldn't make it to San Diego this year. I'm very sorry about this, but I think we owe both of them a, a big thank you for all they have done and they've been done for, for JLT. Um, as I said, well, uh, one thing I did last week to uh, uh, respect, reflect this uh, increase in, in numbers because we, we, we really, JLT is doing really, really well. The number of submissions is growing up. We, the only thing which is not going up is uh, the acceptance ratio, which was reduced a little bit from 50 to 40% in the past few years. But we still publish a lot of papers, a lot of pages. So I went to my office, look for the printed collections in the past few years, and uh, took this picture, which reflects the increase in thickness of printed collection of JLT from 2008 to 2020. So we went from one centimeter to uh, four centimeter, and that's why we stopped sending complementary copies to all the authors of submitted papers. And the reason is that the authors started to complain. I start receiving email from authors saying, why are you sending us this huge uh, journals that nobody reads in, in, in print because everything is becoming digital. I, I, I guess no one of us now go and to, to look a paper in a, in a printed collection. So th th that's a, and, and now uh, um, I've been told that now this, um, uh, this print collection which contains four issues will be split in two. So we will go from two kilograms to one kilograms of, of, of paper. And uh, uh, well, yeah, as I was said, now we, we read almost everything online. Well, so, some older people, maybe li like me, print <laughs> print papers because it, we are not very much used to <laughs> to read them on a on, on a screen. But uh, but everything is is online. The world is changing. The world is becoming uh, digital. Everything is online. And so the last thing I wanted to mention is that also JLT is becoming more social, has become more social. So since 2019, JLT is both on Twitter and, uh, and a few months later on, uh, on LinkedIn. And we are close to 900 um, uh, followers in uh, LinkedIn, a little, slightly less uh, in, in Twitter. But we are trying to, well, to evolve with, uh, with, with the world. Uh, as JLT has always tried to do, but now these changes are, are really, are really impressive. We try to engage young people, and trying to engage young people is not it's not very simple. I'm not social at all. I got social accounts just because I got social accounts, but I don't use them. And so I need to thank our publicity editor Paula Parolari sitting there who started this and is publish, she's publishing everything relevant about the journal in the, in the social media. And also thanks to her, we, uh, these uh, uh, pages are quite, uh, are quite popular. So here is uh, an example of what has been published in the past, um, in the past few, uh, few months and few, and few years by, by Paula. So I think this is important. This is one of the biggest changes that, that we did in, uh, in, the, in these four years, because everything else is, is going, I think, in the same way as, as before. Everything is going good. The difference is the huge number of submissions. But now we do not send papers by mail. 
luckily, <laughs> which, is, which makes everything easier. But we still have the problems in finding good reviewers, exactly as, as it was uh, before. It's easier to contact them, but, but not uh, so, so easy to, to, to get very, very good reviews. So uh, we really thank everyone who contributed to, to this. Uh, I think, uh, well, Peter didn't tell this before, but he always says a journal is as good as its editorial board. I remember this. He said this uh, uh, many times and I, I could totally agree with him. So thank you very much to everyone who contributed to uh, the success of JLT, to the associate editors, deputy editors, to the authors to the organizers of special issues, to the member of the coordinating and steering committee, which at the very first of my term, I saw as, well, not enemies, but 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 I was a, li a, li a little bit scared to <laughs> interact with, that, with them. But now it's not more, no more like this. I, I see them as friends and very helpful, uh, uh, counselor for uh, the direction of um, of JLT. So a big thank you to everyone. And last but not least, the IEEE staff, because without without them we we couldn't uh, have achieved what we have achieved in the in the past few few years. So the past forty years. <laughs> okay. So thank you, thank you for uh, to everyone in in this room and in the world.